classic. Shout out Tailored Coffee in Oregon, maybe. Hey, my name is Nicole Fiore and I roller skate. You know the old school roller skates, two in front, two in back? Yeah, those ones. I'm gonna be teaching you how to roll and entertaining you along the way. Come roll with me. Today we are going to work on a coffin. So sorry about the name, I did not come up with it. This is just how I've always known it. That's been the name for as long as I can remember. But it is this trick. This is my little brother. Uh, he was like very young and this was at Nationals. I can't actually do a coffin in this space so I'm going to show you what it looks like stationary which is a good thing to work on right now. Let me start by saying you can do a coffin many different ways. You can do it on either foot, forward or backward, and it's typically an inside edge. So confession, I can only do this one on a left inner back edge. I do know a lot of people that can do it forward. I have never been able to do it forward, so maybe I'll work on that, but I know how to do it on a left inner back edge. For me, that's the easiest, even though that is literally my worst edge. So don't discount your worst edge. It might be the one you can do a coffin on. So I'm going to start with my left foot planted on the ground. This would be good to do with or without skates, to be honest, to get used to it. Start with your left foot on the ground. You can hold on to something if you want. And cross your right foot behind your left foot. And then you're going to bend your left leg to get all the way down on the ground. Now, oh my gosh. <laughs> now, when I'm in this position, I actually rest my left no, sorry, my right thigh on the heel of my skate. It's like pushed up against it here. Can you see that? <laughs> you also may end up on the ground quite a bit doing this, so please get used to that. It's fine. I'm just gonna stay down here for a minute. One thing that I actually do practice and that I work on is being able to lay out to the side while doing your coffin. <sighs> it's very difficult. So let's just get into that position real quick. So I'm on a left inner back edge. Obviously I'm not moving, so I'm pretending that I'm going backward and on an inside edge. When I do cross my right foot behind, my hips aren't turning. They're staying fairly square, as square as I can keep them. And as I'm reaching my knee, sorry, my nose, it just, as I'm reaching the foot behind, I feel my left knee kind of go out, which is weird because I'm going on an inside edge. But realistically, I'm still pressing the inside edge with my left foot. My knee is just kind of giving my hip space. So I don't know if any of this technique is correct. I don't know if there is correct technique because I think I learned this just from watching people at session when I was younger. I do not believe anyone actually taught me this. So I might just be talking out of my, that's all right. Um, a lot of you guys have asked what this move is and how to do it. So here I am. As I bend my left knee, I do kind of feel I go out to the side every once in a while. Just letting you know. Uh, but my foot is on an inside edge. As I do this, I have toe stops in. so. My toe step will hopefully pull up a little bit to not hit the ground. And another thing, this is like doing pistol squats. Your leg needs to be very strong in order to do this so that you don't just plop down and end up hurting your knee. You don't wanna do that. You want it to be nice and controlled. And then here. Now, my right foot is pointed and it's like stiff. It's in a good stretch right now. This knee, I hold on to it and I'm on an inside edge, right? So you have to point that toe and stretch it out that way to balance your body out to this side. Obviously my elbow's on the ground, that's not gonna work while I'm rolling. So I do see a lot of people stretch out this way, stretch out holding on, and I see a lot of people do that. If anyone has tips for how to hold that position for an extended period of time, Get at your girl, cause uh, when I'm rolling, I can kinda do it. Oftentimes I do fall, so 
Yeah, I think it's just practice. Honestly, I think it's just practice. Okay, so anyway, let's talk about getting back up, assuming you don't fall. <sighs> Let me just pause and say, a lot of these moves are easier while rolling. So if you can master this stationary, you're gonna be shocked at how easy this is rolling. I could be wrong. Some people may have a more difficult time while rolling. If you can roll backward on that edge, then I think you'll have an easier time while rolling. I hope. Okay, so stationary getting up. <laughs> this is gonna have some funny B-roll. I, I wouldn't call this cheating. I use my resources. I use my knee to get back up. Sometimes I even use the floor to get back up. We're gonna do this as an actual exercise. Hold up. Okay, so I'm going to stationary, try to get into a coffin position and come back up. Oh gosh, I'm actually rolling forward, that's not good. <laughs> so, it can be done. Um, I'm gonna try this on my right foot because I am going to uh, practice what I preach and I'm going to practice it on the other side. Uh, dance skaters out there, I don't know if it's just me, but my right leg is not nearly as strong as my left leg from going around the corner forward. Oh, God. Okay. I know I can't get up from this. Oh, wait. What? It was easier than I thought. I'm gonna try to do it real quick. How, maybe if I start backward. That does kind of work. Wait, that actually reminded me. I would try this, if you are gonna do a left inner back coffin, I would try this off of a cross pull. So, like this. Reach, I cross pull, my body's set up correctly, I drop, I come up. Oh, another thing, I'm glad I'm doing this. Another thing, I balance myself out by pushing my, not just pushing my free leg, my right foot, to the side, I also kind of tuck it and push it forward. See how it's in front? Okay, I would love to see videos of you guys and your coffins. If you can already do it and you can do a really nice layout, please hit me up. Okay, I'm out of breath. Bye. <sighs> well, wasn't that educational? Go ahead and like this video and subscribe to my channel while you're at it. You know, if you wanna learn how to be cool and not fall down so much. Oh my gosh. Good job.